Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. We got some breaking news around Antonio Brown. He is threatened to retire from the NFL if he can't wear his helmet. We called him all offseason Mr. Big Chest. But after seeing this report, I'm starting to think maybe his new nickname is Mr. Big Head. So here, let's get into some of the details of what's going down with Antonio Brown. Now, Basically, what happened is he told the Oakland Raiders, unless he can wear his old helmet, he's not going to play football again. So, the fact that this is all kind of going down on Friday, there's been a lot, a lot of news around Antonio Brown literally all day today. Heck, there was reports that they don't know where the heck he is. Then there's reports out that he's going to practice soon, and now it's coming out that A.B. is not going to play without his hold, his new helmet. So, Brown, he filed a grievance against the NFL for the new helmet policy. Now, this is going to be a two-hour conference call with league officials, and this is going to happen on Friday. This is an attempt to argue why he should be allowed to wear his helmet that he's worn for 10 years. Now, if you're all asking, what is the NFL's helmet policy? So, back in 2017, the NFL banned four types of helmets. One of those helmets is the helmet that Antonio Brown, who I think a lot of people watching this would argue, has been the best wide receiver in the NFL, has worn, and we all know that he's done very well in that helmet. Now, some players were grandfathered in for 2018, but had to switch this year. Some of those players are like a Tom Brady. He tried to play with the new helmet. He only made it three games and then was like, oh, man, I don't really like it. So for all you people out there that are kind of hating on A.B. for doing this, A.B.'s saying that it's hindering his ability to see. So here's a tweet from Adam Schefter. And now this, Raiders wide receiver Antonio Brown has told team officials that unless he gets to wear his old helmet, he will not play football again. This is pretty eye-popping, but it's also one of those things there's a reason why Antonio Brown was traded from the Pittsburgh Steelers in the first place. He's a bit of a diva. And in today's NFL, when you have a big-time wide receiver who's the second-highest paid wide receiver in the NFL, when he doesn't get what he wants, this is the shit that you're going to run into with Antonio Brown. You're going to get the wide receiver who's going to give you, you know, six straight years of over 1,000 yards, six straight years of over 100 catches, and then you're also going to get this, where if he doesn't get his helmet, he's basically going to sit there and he's going to start pounding the ground because he's going to throw a temper tantrum. Just like I'm sure I used to do when I was a kid when I was at the grocery store and I didn't get the Snickers bar that I wanted. The only issue, I didn't put up numbers like Antonio Brown put up. Sure, I was a good athlete and I could score a few goals on my ASO soccer team when I was 8 years old. But if I would have been putting up numbers like this, I'm sure my mom would have went out and got me that Snickers bar. I mean, look at this. 104 catches last year, and it was considered a down year. He led the NFL in 15 touch with 15 touchdowns. There's other players who are notable with this whole helmet issue. We're talking about guys like an Aaron Rodgers, a Tom Brady, Antonio Brown. And if Antonio Brown's not happy with the helmet issue, I think we need to be able to figure out a way where he can wear his helmet because uh, the dude's pretty good when he can wear it. So we always argue here that we are the most interactive YouTube channel for Raiders content. Make sure you guys are subscribed. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. If you're watching us for the first time, I applaud you. Click that big red button down there on YouTube. And the reason why we're doing this show is because Antonio Brown has said that he is planning to retire if he can't wear his helmet. So what's a one-word reaction to the Antonio Brown news and rumors. I want a one-word reaction, and I'm going to give some shout-outs here to the people who are watching us live on YouTube. Uh, Ridge, that's two words. It says, I'm pissed. Clout chasing. So that is such a 2019 phrase. And something else that we can do in 2019 is uh, today's my off day, and I can drink beers because Antonio Brown's making me drink. Uh, somebody just says Tom. Raider Boy, it's a very good one. Antonio Clown lit. Pissed, scared, anxiety, gone. There's a lot, a lot of good one-word reactions. Keep those flowing in. And if you're watching us on YouTube, Facebook, I need a sip because I need to hydrate. Because as you guys could see, I'm literally sweating because I had to run in here. So here, if you're just kind of joining us in, Antonio Brown, he has announced that he is planning or has at least threatened to not play again if he can't wear his helmet. So the NFL's new helmet policy is a joint rule between the NFL 
and the NFLPA. So for those of you that are like, why is Antonio Brown doing this to the Raiders? He's not really doing it to the Raiders. He's more of kind of protesting the fact that, hey man, I want to wear the helmet that I've gotten to wear for literally my entire career. And Antonio Brown has gone out and said that his ability to be able to see is very limited by these new helmets. So the issue is Brown's helmet is no longer certified, but Brown had a conference call with the league Friday, and hopefully uh, we can get some of these issues resolved. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, and I know all you guys want to see AB on the field just as bad as I do, right? I mean, when you go out, you get Antonio Brown, probably the best receiver that's been in the NFL, I'll say the last three, five, heck, maybe even six years. So will Antonio Brown sit out? I want you to type a Y for yes or type N for no. For those of you that are like, yeah, I think Antonio Brown's going to sit out, at least give me a reason why. I'm going to type my N for no. I don't think AB's going to sit out. There's also been other reports out there that when AB has showed up to practice, he's been on his phone, he's been late. But I'm also hearing a lot of that stuff is from people who said that he was missing and he wasn't missing. Like, Antonio Brown, there was literally a report out today that Antonio Brown was going to practice and that his feet weren't that big of an issue. Now, the helmet seems like a little bit more of an issue and something that I personally would worry about. <clears throat> For those of you that are asking me, Mitch, what are you even talking about with a foot injury? Well, you obviously don't subscribe to the show because I talked about it yesterday. I talked about it on Tuesday. And if you watch HBO Hard Knocks, speaking of that, I'm going to be doing another live show for Hard Knocks. So stay tuned for that, 10 p.m. Eastern time. But AB's dealing with a little bit of a foot injury, okay? He did not wear the proper footwear during cryotherapy. And he saw a foot specialist. He was considered day-to-day. -day. There was a rumor out there that he was going to miss a month. That one's from Justin Gatlin, a USA sprinter, because Gatlin said that he suffered the same injury back in 2011. There's a lot of drama. But speaking of drama, you know what else happens when there's a lot of drama? Sometimes you see drama on television. And for those of you that don't know this, the Raiders, they are on hard knocks. So this is a fun little idea here. Is this just a Hard Knocks ratings ploy? Type Y for yes and for no. Like, do you think that this is just happening so the Hard Knocks can get a little bit better ratings? Because I heard from a little birdie that there was a lot of people that were actually um, a little bit depressed or upset about episode one of Hard Knocks. Now, I think it was good for the Raiders because we just want to see the Raiders improve. But for those of you who are maybe watching, or for those of you that are out there that aren't Raiders fans, you wanted to see a little bit more flair with Vontez Perfect, Richie Incognito, Antonio Brown, and all the rookies. Now, Jonathan Abram, he brought it on Hard Knocks, and uh, there's a reason why this dude's getting people excited in Oakland and in Napa. So is this a Hard Knocks ploy? I want you to comment below. Type Y for yes and for no. I'm going to look down here in the comments section. Uh, we got Blake is saying yes. Stay High is saying yes. Robert... Alivardo says, N, a diva is a diva. You know what, man? I totally agree. Also, Robert, much appreciated for this dope, dope super chat. If you guys want a super chat, make sure you click that dollar symbol down there. We'll uh, make sure we get your comment on the show like Rob. So, $50 million with 30 of it guaranteed. Oh, must be nice. To your knowledge, any way we can save some of that money and kick this jabroni to the curb... Ramsey needs a contract next year. First off, bonus points for using the word jabroni. I haven't heard of the word jabroni probably since, like, I was 16. And that is going way back. That's like 10 years ago. So, uh, $30 million guaranteed. I don't think the Raiders are going to kick him to the curb. I also don't think it's a smart move for the Raiders to get to the curb. Yes, he is a diva. Yes, he's dealing with certain things. But I also think this is Antonio Brown more or less going after the NFL and standing up for something that he wants to use and is, that he's proven that he's been good with. I mean, if somebody came up to you at your job, out Robert, I don't know what you do, right? But let's say that, I don't know, you use a computer every day and somebody said, nope, man, you know what? You're not allowed to use a computer every day. You, I think you'd be pretty upset too. So I think this is just one of those things. So like, I don't have a, I don't know, a, an Apple. I use HP. If somebody threw an Apple on my lap right now, I'd be pretty lost. I don't even know if I'd be able to do this show. So I think for him, he's like, hey, man, I want to be able to use the helmet that I've used for the last 9, 10 years of my career. 
I understand I just put out a video also with Jalen Ramsey. I think it's an interesting concept because Ramsey, next year he's going to make around $13.7 million. And he's obviously a very, very talented cornerback. But in terms of like being able to pay him, I don't know. I think it's a little bit um, difficult thing to consider with Jalen Ramsey. So, Antonio Brown helmet drama. We got some breaking news around Antonio Brown. According to Adam Schefter, Brown has told the Raiders he will not play again without his helmet. Not a teddy bear, not a blanket, but without his helmet. So, Antonio Brown has filed a grievance against the NFL for the new helmet policy. For those of you that don't know what the new helmet policy is, guess what? <laughs> I got gotcha. you. In 2017, the NFL banned four types of helmets. One of those helmets is the one that Antonio Brown uses. Also, some notable players that were upset about this helmet policy. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Quarterback who invented Tuck Rule Tuck That. Tom Brady of the New England Patriots. So, some players were grandfathered for 2018, but have had to switch this year. So, last year, Tom Brady, his first three games, he used the new helmet. And then he was kind of like, you know what? I don't like this helmet. I'm going to go back to my old one. So Tom Brady is another player who has shown some issues with this new NFL helmet policy. Now, I first saw this, and I kind of laughed at this entire thing. So I want to know from everybody who's watching right now. I mean, how stupid is this whole thing, right? I mean, how dumb is the fact that I'm here on my day off talking about a grown man not being able to wear a helmet that he wants, throwing a temper tantrum, and now going to retire? This one's a 10 for me. I can't believe. I've been doing this now at Chat Sports for two years. Two years. And now I'm doing a breaking news show around Antonio Brown, our star wide receiver, because he can't wear the helmet that he wants to wear. How stupid is this whole thing? It's a 10. This one is a 10. 10 Chucky heads. F this, F that. Believe it, baby. I don't even know what to say. This one's 10 Chucky heads for me. But one, not stupid. 10, very stupid. If you type one, personally, I think you're stupid. So, if Antonio Brown, let's say, hypothetically speaking, doesn't play for the Oakland Raiders, this is what the Raiders are going to march out there week one against the Denver Broncos. You got Tyrell Williams, who I am a big fan of. We signed him to four years, 44 mil. Could stretch the field, 6'4". But then you're going to have Marcel Aitman. I believe he's going to be the wide receiver too. Now, I expect Aitman and J.J. Nelson to get a little bit more work, okay? Because I think J.J. Nelson has that elite speed. Aitman is more of a safe receiver who really stepped up big for the Oakland Raiders back in Week 11 when he was basically forced to play because we traded Amari. Jordy Nelson went down. Also, Brandon LaFell went down. And then I think Hunter Renfro, who has been very impressive, I would expect Tyrell Williams, Aitman, Renfro. But here's the other thing. Don't sleep on a guy like Jalen Rashard if Antonio Brown decides to, you know, call God, say deuces, and then, like, that's basically it, right? I mean, Jalen Rashard had 68 receptions last year. Also, another player to consider, Darren Waller, who has been, according to all reports, unguardable. He's 6'6". He's 256 pounds. He's ran a better 40 time than Devontae Adams. He had a higher vertical leap at the Combine than DeAndre Hopkins. Better 60 shuttle than that guy on screen. He had a better broad jump than Odell Beckham Jr. Daryl Waller has been very impressive. Do I want Antonio Brown on the team? Yes. No doubt about it. He makes our team so much better. But this is what you're going to get with AB. You're going to get a diva. That's just part of it. So if needed, okay, if we needed to, what wide receiver should Oakland sign? Like, I want you guys to think about this because I got a list of five guys. Speaking of five guys, it actually sounds pretty good. You know what? Somebody in back there at Chat Sports, give me a five guys burger. That would be great. So if needed, what wide receiver should Oakland sign? I want you to think about it. I'm going to look down here in the comments section before I give you guys my five wide receivers. Okay? I'm going to look down here. Let's see what we got. Ocho Cinco from Rick D. Freaking love it. You know what? Maybe we can go out and get Ocho Cinco and Chad Johnson. Um, I see Trade AB for Juju. <laughs> oh, Christ. Uh, Crabtree, Dez, Megatron, another Crabtree, Braxton Miller. Wow. Hang on. Oh, but trade back for Amari from IT's Burger. I think you're about to get blocked on this channel. Dez, Tansy Moss, Crabtree, Dez, Crabtree. I'm seeing a lot of the same answers. So here are five wide receivers that I think the Oakland Raiders could go out and sign. Number one guy on the list, Michael Crabtree. For those of you, and I'll even point to myself, that thought Michael Crabtree was with the Cardinals, 
He's not. It was just a PF pro football focus jumping the gun a little bit. Cliff Kingsbury said that he's been interested in Crabtree, but I'll say this. Crabtree is hands down the best option to go out and get if Antonio Brown kind of goes AWOL because he knows that rapport with Derek Carr. I mean, heck, the dude's been very good. Then you got Martavis Bryant. Martavis Bryant is suspended, just so everyone is very, very clear on that, okay? And he is suspended. Sure, he's a tall dude. He's very athletic. He was also a past Raider. Um, personally, he wouldn't be my first choice on this list, but he's at least athletic. Then you have Terrence Williams. Also, I think he's an okay possession type receiver. I think he would be that wide receiver too, being able to compete with Marcel Aitman. Then you got Dez, right? Dez is the big name. Dez is a big name player who unfortunately tore his Achilles last year. So I think it'd be interesting to see what we can get. And then Kelvin Benjamin, or that might be Whoopi Goldberg. I'm not quite sure. Either way, could be a tight end wide receiver. Dead Raider says none of the above. Well, how about this, Dead Raider? I know you're one of my loyal watchers, which I appreciate. And uh, you have a picture, and you've, I believe, had that picture for the last, from what looks like, 30 years of your life. Um, I know you're a loyal watcher, so how about this? Give me an option of a wide receiver that wasn't one of those five that you would like the Oakland Raiders to go out and sign. Now, a lot of you guys are really excited about the Oakland Raiders. And the last time I looked at my bookie, the Raiders had 60 to 1 odds to win the Super Bowl. Okay? 60 to 1 odds. I'll tell you this right now. When you look at the Raiders' schedule, and then you consider the fact that they have two games without Richie Incognito, they're going to be six to eight weeks without Gabe Jackson. And to be honest, I don't really expect Gabe Jackson to be back until after their week six bye because uh, MCL sprains are not good. So what do you think the Raiders' record will be without AB? Huh? Considering we have probably the hardest schedule in the NFL, we'll play, ten, we'll play seven teams that had ten wins last year. We'll also have seven teams that made the playoffs last year. Then when we play our first two home games, we don't play home again until week nine against the Detroit Lions. So what will the Raiders record be without AB? I'm going to hear it in the comments. Four and 12, four and 12, eight and eight, five and 11, four and 12. Somebody still says 10 and six, eight and eight. So like we went from what? 11 wins to eight wins without AB. Interested to see what it is. And then I also see this comment, which I absolutely love. Calvin Benjamin is two biscuits away from playing right guard. You know what? Andy, a lot of the letters in your last name. I think that is a great idea. Let's get Kelvin Benderman. Feed him those two biscuits. Heck, let's bring back Chris Warren because he's already 270 pounds by now. Let's put them both at guard. Y'all hate me? Too bad. Super chat coming in here from White Hat. Oh, boy. Uh, touchdowns will remedy a lot of the drama and worry. So touchdowns will remedy a lot of the drama and worry. So are you saying... That touchdowns by Antonio Brown will remedy a lot of the drama and worry. I'm, uh, you know what, White Hat? I'll say this. I appreciate the super chat. I really do. And from what it looks like, looks like you got another one rolling in here, uh, which, again, I appreciate. And if anybody wants a super chat, that helps me uh, keep the lights on here at Chat Sports. Week six by, we'll get line all back. Still hoping for eight and eight. So Gabe Jackson went down. Richie Incognito is going to be out those first two weeks. Right now, our guard positions are looking pretty weak. Like, we have Colton Miller. We have Rodney Hudson. Then you have Trent Brown. But then two guard positions, right? Like, what are we going to do? Denzel Good has been battling some injuries. We do have Lester Cott, and we do have Jonathan Cooper. But they're very inexperienced, especially with the Raiders, right? Like, I mean, Lester is a UDFA. And then you have uh, Jonathan Cooper has been on the team, what, for like three weeks now? The offensive line, especially at the guard position, is very crucial in the running scheme that Tom Cable wants to really be able to implement. You want to implement that power run scheme, you need guards like a Gabe Jackson. You need a guy who can plow through the line like a Richie Incognito. Now, for those of you that are like, Mitch, why are you doing a breaking news show? It's because I'm doing it around Antonio Brown because the guy said that he doesn't plan to play without his helmet, Right? He doesn't plan to play without his helmet. That's like me saying, guys, I don't feel like doing my show anymore if I'm not allowed to wear my silver jacket, right? It's a little bit ridiculous, this whole entire thing. Now, Schefter tweeted out about a few uh, few hours ago, I shouldn't say hours, probably a few minutes ago, that he told the team that he's not going to play again without his helmet, okay? And then Brown has filed for a grievance against the NFL for the new helmet policy. So here's the tweet from Schefter, and bear with me because you guys know I struggle reading. Antonio Brown believes the new helmet – that rules mandate he wears protrudes out and interferes with his vision as he tries to catch a football. Yes, I'm proud that I said protrudes. The Raiders have been sending Brown 
other approved helmets to try out, but at this time, he is not interested in wearing any of them. Okay, Antonio Brown, I get the fact that you're enti this entire thing bothers your vision, but I also think it's a ploy for Hard Knocks, and I'm not really the only one that thinks that. So AZ Raider 12 is also says that I feel this is just a Hard Knocks stunt. You know what, man? There's people here very close to me. Uh, I'm going to say about 5 to 10 feet. One guy's looking at me now, kind of weird, freaking me out. Um, that also are with you on this, and I think it's just a Hard Knocks stunt as well. So for everyone who's watching, AZ Raider 12 believes it. AZ Raider 12 is typing Y for yes, but what does everyone think who's watching? Is this just a Hard Knocks ratings ploy? Y for yes, type N for no. For those of you that are watching on Facebook, I appreciate you. For those of you that are watching us here on YouTube, hit the subscribe button below. We got over 450 people watching us live right now. Tell me what you're drinking. Because, I mean, I'll be honest with you. As soon as I heard this whole thing with AB, I was like, guys, get me a beer. Get me a water. I need something to hydrate. And it just mentally get the creative juices flowing because something like this blows my mind. Like, the fact that a professional grown man is not going to play without his helmet angers me. But then it's also like, okay, I understand if you've been this productive uh, maybe you're just like, why can't I wear my helmet? So it's a lot of different things moving on here. Why for yes and for no. We got a super chat coming in. I need to hydrate. Wow, get Megatron. You know, I don't hate the idea, right? Like, I mean, Megatron, I would say, is 33 years old. The last time he played in the NFL, he had 1,200 yards off the top of my head. That was with Matthew Stafford. And considering the fact that I would – Probably say Calvin Johnson, from a physical standpoint, is probably the most physically gifted wide receiver that the NFL has ever seen. I didn't say the best. I said the most physically gifted. And also, for those of you that aren't subscribed to our main channel on Chat Sports, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, I did a video like two months ago, okay? Two months ago, you're going to see it down there at the bottom below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, on the 10 players that need to unretire and play in the professional football league again. That top player on my list was Calvin Johnson. So, Jedi, I like this comment. Also, very cute baby. I, I would totally sign him. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. Go out, check out that video. Megatron, number one on my list of retired players who need to come out of retirement. So, this entire Antonio Brown thing has got me worried. It does. So, I want to know from everybody's panic meter. One to 10. One like, Mitch, I ain't worried why you bother me on my Friday. To 10, Mitch, you're making my Friday really, really terrible. So, scale of 1 to 10. What is your AB panic meter? Because Antonio Brown has threatened to never play football again if he can't wear his helmet. <sighs> it's scary. It, I mean, I think if you're not nervous, I think I question your loyalty to the Raiders because if there's one thing that I've seen that Antonio Brown's done when he says something... He kind of goes through with it, right? Like, at first, when the, all the A.B. drama was going on, we're like, A.B.'s not going to get traded. He's not going to do this. He's not going to do that. I'm like, all right, well, he just got traded. Okay, well, now he's doing that. And now we're here at this point, right? He shows up in a hot air balloon. Sky's the limit with this guy. It's the reason why we went live at 420 uh, for all of you out there. What is your A.B. panic meter? Scale of 1 to 10, okay? 1, Mitch, I'm not worried at all. Get a life. 10, very, very worried. Make sure you guys comment below. And if you're not already subscribed to the Oakland Raiders Report on YouTube, we are the most interactive YouTube channel for all Raiders content. Spread the word. Subscribe. Click that big red button. Turn on those, those notifications so you know when I go live, like something like, hey, Antonio Brown's threatening to retire because he's not 